Agora TV. The world is thinking. Because it's actually procreative beneficence. <laughs> right. Um, it's the idea that we have an obligation in procreation to bring about the best children that we can have. Um, the, the, base, the basis of it is that um, nature has no mind to equality, no mind to health, no mind to happiness in terms of, of the children that it produces, the embryos and fetuses. There are huge disparities in terms of the diseases that children are born with, how healthy they are, but also in terms of their gifts or talents or even their basic abilities to control their impulses, to uh, be able to uh, attend and concentrate enough at school to be able to learn enough to be able to participate in society. So <clears throat> what modern um, genetics and modern science and the sort of stuff that Gab Kovacs is doing uh, enables us to do now is to create a range of embryos and to test the, the biology of those embryos and, and gain some information uh, about how likely they are to develop certain diseases. But very soon it will give us information about the kinds of dispositions, personality, uh, characteristics, uh, abilities, disabilities, gifts, talents and so on. And the idea is that we should use that knowledge to select from a range of children that we could have, the, the children who are going to have the healthiest lives, or predicted to have the healthiest lives, and those that start off life with advantages rather than disadvantages. So if you like, it's to correct the unfairness of the natural lottery. So the idea is, is not only should people be permitted to use genetics and, and our knowledge of, of biology to choose the kinds of children that they uh, have, they should. They actually should, uh, insofar as they can use this technology without significant cost to themselves or society, um, use it to try to have children who are, who are healthy, but also have the best chance of the best life.